Today we're going to discuss a little bit more about the BioD block, some of the applications of the Coyer coconut block. In this case, we're looking at the nine inch block. We hooked it up in our California TRM. Everything is organic. It's like fresh guacamole on this TRM section. And at the beginning of the TRM, we used the BioD block, the nine inch block, as the check slot at the head of this transition mat. And if you remember, when the water was flowing, it worked really well. There was some turbulent flow and the flow went over it like we want with check slots. It didn't allow the nine grams per meter squared of coir netting. It didn't allow it to erode. There was no undercutting. So it did its job really well. And I, I attribute the way that it worked is the manufacturer has kept coming out to our uh, summits out here and we've run water in the ditches, we've installed them and, and he's learned something each time and gone back and kind of re-engineered. In this case, getting a check slot or getting a, a BioD block that's only nine inches is really good because we don't want to put sometimes big barriers in ditches. Remember Q equals AV predicts that we'll have erosion. So something low that's, that's more of a velocity dissipator. There's also special stakes that he used and smaller stakes. And we can actually pound the stakes in and anchor and pull the block down into the bottom of the channel. And the other thing that's really interesting is just the shape of the blocks. They're rectangular. So when they're rectangular, the bottom of it is a, is a face, a straight horizontal face, which also then is more likely of when it comes in contact with the soil, there's more friction, less likely of water going underneath it. Let's go check out some of the features that it has. Here we are, the California TRM after almost four weeks. The interesting thing is the BioD block. It's still in here, very solid. These stakes work really well. We did uh, modify it slightly, use the rope wrap method with the, with the half hitch and cinched it down in. This is a check slot. Very important that the water doesn't get under our netting, and it didn't get under. This is a high energy feature. There was the culvert coming out, water came out of the culvert. It went across the scour stop transition mat. A lot of energy. That energy is looking to go under and scour and go underneath our netting, and we don't want that to happen. So that's where we use the BioD block to break that energy up, bring the water back to the surface so it flows over the top of the netting. And, and that's, that's what happened. We're very happy with that.